Hello everyone, my name is Michelle. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you my costs of traveling through Peru, Ecuador, and Colombia. So this was a nine-week trip and I will just start with the flights. So I pretty much always start from Miami. So my flight from Miami to Lima was $160. And then within Peru is where I took more flights. So the flight from Lima to Arequipa was $62. And that included having to pay for a carry-on. Right. So then the flight from Cusco to Lima was $60, and then I had a flight from Lima to Tumbes to get to the north of Peru. That was one hundred and oh, sorry, that was $73. And then it was the final flight from Cali when I was flying back to Miami. That was $120. So those are all of the costs of just flights. Then within Peru, within Ecuador and Colombia, we would take obviously buses um, and taxis or Ubers, which the Ubers would be like one or two dollars. It's very cheap in South America. And then with buses, it's also very cheap. So for example, the bus from Arequipa to Cusco was like ten dollars, so it's still cheap. So the total for all of that was around $50, just a little less than $50. Then we go to groceries, so um, I was traveling with someone, so we would just split all of our costs. And that goes for pretty much everything. So on groceries, just for my part, it was $140. And then on dining, it was $230, which it can be very inexpensive because you get a mendozovia, so that includes a soup, a juice, a main dish, and then a small dessert. And that will often be two or three dollars, so it's very inexpensive. Then we did a lot of activities and different tours. The grand total of all of the activities we did was about $180, and we would do things from you know, we did a tour to Coca Canyon, um, to the, I think it's called the Salineras, like these are um, salt area, also a salt lake where you can see your reflection. That was really beautiful. We went white water rafting in Arequipa. I think it's the in the Chile River, which was really crazy because it was um like a high level, but. It, it was a lot of fun, and I think it cost like $15. We would go um, sand boarding, you go on these buggies through the sand dunes, that was in Ica. And we even rented 4x4s, that was when we stayed in Cusco. And yeah, all of these things are super inexpensive. You can do it for like $15 pretty much. The day trips, you always have to wake up at like 4 in the morning. They start super early because you have to travel a lot, but it's well worth it. The most expensive thing was going to Machu Picchu, which we did, uh, basically you go 7 hours by van and you get dropped off at these like hydroelectrico, some, some spot where you get dropped off and you walk along the train tracks to get to Aguascalientes, which is the town, and from there you go to Machu Picchu. That tour, I think, was about $90, but it includes your entrance to go to Machu Picchu. I have a Peruvian citizenship, so for me it was cheaper. For other tourists, I know it's more expensive. And then the final and the biggest expense is always accommodation. So again, I was traveling with someone, so we would rent Airbnbs because we both had to work. And we would just rent either like a one bedroom. Even in Cusco, we had a two bedroom and it's super affordable. So for the nine weeks that we traveled, renting our own places, my 
half basically was $628. That's the exact price for our accommodation. So yeah, $628 for nine weeks of accommodation, which is pretty affordable. So yeah, I mean, South America, it's an affordable place to travel. And it's, um, I, I mean, there are long journeys, so traveling from Tumbes, crossing the border to Ecuador, that bus, you know, and then crossing the border to Colombia, they're long bus rides, but it's safe, you know, as long as you don't travel at night. So if you do have any questions, let me know. So this summer, starting in June, I'll be doing about a 10 week trip in Colombia, just Colombia this time. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I would be happy to help you, even if you want any tips or advice on places to visit. Just let me know. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.